The Chief of Naval Operations CNO is the highest ranking officer and professional head of the United States Navy. The position is a statutory office 10 USC section 5033 held by a four-star admiral who is a military advisor and deputy to the Secretary of the Navy. In a separate capacity as a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff 10 USC Section 151 the CNO is a military advisor to the National Security Council, the Homeland Security Council, the Secretary of Defense, and the President. The current Chief of Naval Operations is Admiral John M. Richardson. Despite the title, the CNO does not have operational command authority over naval forces. The CNO is an administrative position based in the Pentagon, and exercises supervision of Navy organizations as the designee of the Secretary of the Navy. Operational command of naval forces falls within the purview of the combatant commanders who report to the Secretary of Defense. Responsibilities <inaudible> 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 The Chief of Naval Operations CNO is typically the highest ranking officer on active duty in the U.S. Navy unless the Chairman and or the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff are naval officers, as per 10 U.S.C. § 5035, whenever there is a vacancy for the Chief of Naval Operations or during the absence or disability of the Chief of Naval Operations, and unless the President directs otherwise, the Vice Chief of Naval Operations performs the duties of the Chief of Naval Operations until a successor is appointed appointed or the absence or disability ceases. Department of the Navy The CNO also performs all other functions prescribed under 10 U.S.C. § 5033, such as presiding over the Office of the Chief of Naval Operations exercising supervision of Navy organizations, and other duties assigned by the Secretary or higher lawful authority, or the CNO delegates those duties and responsibilities to other officers in OPNAV or in organizations below, acting for the Secretary of the Navy. The CNO also designates naval personnel and naval forces available to the commanders of Unified Combatant Commands, subject to the approval of the Secretary of Defense. <laughs> <laughs> Joint Chiefs of Staff The CNO is a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff as prescribed by 10 U.S.C. § 151 and 10 U.S.C. § 5033. Like the other members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the CNO is an administrative position, with no operational command authority over the United States Navy forces. Members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, individually or collectively, in their capacity as military advisors, shall provide advice to the President, the National Security Council NSC, or the Secretary of Defense SECDEF on a particular matter when the President, the NSC, or SECDEF requests such advice. Members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff other than the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff may submit to the Chairman advice or an opinion in disagreement with, or advice or an opinion in addition to, the advice presented by the Chairman to the President, NSC, or SECDEF. When performing his JCS duties, the CNO is responsible directly to the SECDEF, but keeps SEC and AV fully informed of significant military operations affecting the duties and responsibilities of the SEC and AV, unless SECDEF orders otherwise. <laughs> Appointment The Chief of Naval Operations is nominated by the President for appointment and must be confirmed by the Senate. A requirement for being Chief of Naval Operations is having significant experience in joint duty assignments, which includes at least one full tour of duty in a joint duty assignment as a flag officer. However, the President may waive those requirements if he determines that appointing the officer is necessary for the national interest. By statute, the CNO is appointed as a four-star admiral. Official residence Number 1 Observatory Circle, located on the northeast grounds of the United States Naval Observatory in Washington, D.C., was built in 1893 for its superintendent. 
The Chief of Naval Operations liked the house so much that in 1923 he took over the house as his own official residence. It remained the residence of the CNO until 1974, when Congress authorized its transformation to an official residence for the Vice President. The Chief of Naval Operations currently resides in Quarters A in the Washington Naval Yard. Topic Office of the Chief of Naval Operations The Chief of Naval Operations presides over the Navy Staff, formerly known as the Office of the Chief of Naval Operations The Office of the Chief of Naval Operations is a statutory organization within the executive part of the Department of the Navy, and its purpose is to furnish professional assistance to the Secretary of the Navy and the CNO in carrying out their responsibilities. The OPNAV organization consists of the Chief of Naval Operations CNO, the Vice Chief of Naval Operations VCNO, the Principal Deputy of the Chief of Naval Operations, delegated complete authority to act for the CNO in all matters not specifically reserved by law to the CNO. The Director of the Navy Staff DNS. Several Deputy Chiefs of Naval Operations DCNOs of either three or two star rank, heading functional directorates, N1 DCNO Manpower, Personnel, Training, and Education, Chief of Naval Personnel N2, N6 DCNO Warfare Dominance, Director of the Office of Naval Intelligence N3, N5 DCNO Operations, Plans, and Strategy N4 DCNO Fleet Readiness and Logistics N8 DCNO Integration of Capability and resources N9 DCNO warfare systems NOOD the master chief petty officer of the navy MCPON appointed by the chief of naval operations to serve as a spokesperson to address the issues of enlisted personnel to the highest positions in the navy NOON the director of the naval nuclear propulsion program a unique 8 year posting held by a four star admiral which was originally created and served in by admiral Hyman G Rickover the appointment as director is both a military and civilian position as it is the head of both Naval Nuclear Propulsion Program in the Department of the Navy and National Nuclear Security Administration in the Department of Energy. N093 The Surgeon General of the Navy, the most senior officer in the Medical Corps who heads the Bureau of Medicine and Surgery. Bummed. N095 The Chief of Navy Reserve, Commander, Navy Reserve Force. N097 The Chief of Chaplains. In addition, there are officials who are by either law or regulation part of the Office of the Secretary of the Navy also known as the Secretariat, but who advise the CNO and OPNAV, on an additional duty basis, within their area of specialty. These include, NO9C Special Assistant for Public Affairs Support, additional duty for the Chief of Information CHINFO, NO9G Special Assistant for Inspection Support, additional duty for the Naval Inspector General NIG, NO9J Special Assistant for Legal Service Services, additional duty for the Judge Advocate General of the Navy JAG, NO9L Special Assistant for Legislative Support, additional duty for the Chief of Legislative Affairs CLA, NO9N Special Assistant for Naval Investigative Matters and Security, additional duty for the Director of the Naval Criminal Investigative Service, policy documents emanating from the CNO are issued in the form of OPNAV instructions. OPNAV is one of the three headquarters staffs in Department of the Navy mainly based at the Pentagon, with the others being the Office of the Secretary of the Navy and Headquarters, Marine Corps. <laughs> List of Chiefs of Naval Operations 1915 -present. The position of CNO replaced the position of aid for naval operations, which was a position established by regulation rather than statutory law. Died in office. See also Vice Chief of Naval Operations Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy Organization of the U.S. Marine Corps – Relationship with other uniformed services United States Fleet <laughs>